Hey, welcome to the 8th video of this Rasputin series. In this video, I will make sure that you get comfortable in making your own ROS actions. So this video is all about creating your own simple action server and simple action client starting with the making of action directory in your package. Then making of a file with dot action extension where all the structure of your action messages will be stored. Then making respective changes in cmakelist.txt file and package.xml file. And at last, writing your own custom simple action server and simple action clients. So before starting, I would like to tell you if you are watching this video for the very first time, I would suggest to watch out the previous video. So as every video is continuation of its previous one. So before starting, make sure you subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon as I bring such an interesting video every week. So let's get started. Now let's start by making a action directory in our package. So I'll open a terminal. Go into workspace. I'm going to source directory. Then I'll go into our package, which is tutorial eight, and I'll make a action directory here. So command for it is mk dir actio action. So here our directory is created. So you can see that action directory is created. Let's go into that directory. Now here our second step is to make a file with dot action extension where structure of our goal, result and feedback will be stored. So I'll make a file named action with command touch pizza. Let's uh, take an example of a pizza shop. So pizza order pizza underscore order dot action. Let's hit enter. And see now you can see that there is a pizza underscore action file here. Now I'll open that file and write our structure gedit pizza underscore action press enter. Now here we have to make a structure. Now first is the goal. So I'll just write here goal. Then the variable type which is int 32. And it will be number of pizza order number underscore of underscore pizza underscore order I'll press enter now I'll give three hyphens so three hyphens separates our result section goal section and feedback section so now I'll again write hash result so in result I'll write I'll make a array of strings so we'll declare a data type as string We'll make an array of strings and here we'll give it as name as pizza underscore ready. I'll again give three hyphens and here we'll write feedback section. Now data type again will be string and here last pizza ready. It will be our variable name. Now we'll save it and then we'll close. Now here our second step is completed. Now it's time to do our third step. Now third step is making changes in cmakelist.txt file and package.xml file. So let's go into our package again back and open the cmakelist.txt file. So gedit cmakelist.txt now here we have opened our cmakelist.txt file. The first change to make here is in the find package section we have to write action lib underscore msg action lib underscore message. Now the second change we have to uncomment add action file section. So we'll uncomment this section and here we have to mention the name of our action file which we have created in a action directory so name of our action file is pizza order underscore order this is our second change now our third change our third change is to uncomment this line in catkin package section and add action lib module here action lib underscore message 
it's the module name so these are the three changes and now comes the fourth change in fourth change we have to uncomment this section generate message and in this section we have to again add action lib message here action lib underscore msg so these are all the four changes you have to make in cmakeLeach.txt file so i'll save this and i'll close it so i'll clear it again now the second change that we have to make in package.xml file so i'll open that file gedit package.xml so in this section we have to add four lines first is build depend action lib underscore msg see i'll copy it i'll paste it and just change it action lib underscore msg now the second line we have to add is build export now the third line which is exec depend and the fourth line we have to add is exec depend message generation so these are all the four lines we have to add in package.xml file now let's save it and close it so here we have completed our three steps now it's time to do our fourth step now fourth step is to make a script directory in our tutorial 8 package so i'll command for it is mkdir scripts i'll press enter now you can see here the script directory has been created now let's make two files one is client file and one is server file where we are going to write our scripts so let's go into script directory and make a client and server file so command for it is touch client dot py touch server dot py and now as you can see that both of these files are not green in color which tells that these are not executable files so for making them these file executable you have to write a command chmod plus x and a file name which is client.py and chmod plus x server.py I'll do ls now you can see that both of the files has changed to green color means these files are executable file now let's edit this file and write our code into it so for the sake of simplicity and keeping the video shorter i have already written the code now let's understand the code line by line so the first line is telling the code that this is a python 3 file and here is where the interpreter is kept now we are importing rospy we are importing action lib module and then from tutorial 8 which is our package name dot msg import pizza order underscore action now these are all the methods which are automatically created when you compile our workspace so we need not to worry about these methods so pizza order action pizza order feedback and pizza order result now i have made a class here i am initializing the constructor I am giving the name of node as pizza order shop. You can give any name. Then here action lib dot simple action server is a method in which we pass the name of our action server. Then the pizza order action and then execute CB which is callback. Now whenever there is an action received, goal is received, then there will be a callback function which will be executed and here i have mentioned that auto start is equal to false now here we are going to start the server self dot a underscore server dot start now here it is our callback function so here we will receive a goal then i have made a variable here which is success is equal to true then last pizza received is equal to empty string then feedback is equal to pizza underscore order feedback 
then result is equal to pizza underscore order result and I have mentioned a rate here which is one second so i have made a loop for i in range 0 to goal dot number of pizza order now we are sending a goal which will be our number of pizza to be made so goal will be number of pizza orders so here if self dot a underscore server is preempted preempt underscore risk requested now this line tells whether we have to stop our making of pizza so whether it is preempted or not so if it is preempted then do success is equal to false and then break go out of this loop and if it is not preempted then last pizza ready is equal to pizza plus string of i which is number of our pizza specific pizza so i'll print here last pizza ready and i'll send the feedback which is last pizza underscore ready is equal to last pizza ready and i'll send the result after the all the pizzas are created which is result dot pizza ready dot append last pizza ready which is our list and then i'll publish it publish underscore feedback and i'll passing the feedback here so i'll for maintaining the rate i i have mentioned self dot rate dot sleep and here is the here is the if structure in which uh, if the success is true then self dot a underscore server dot set succeed is result and pass the result into that method now here is our object of our class and i have mentioned rospy dot spin so you need not to write these lines so i have commented it so let's save it and now let's go into client dot py file same the first line which is which tells it is a python 3 files then i have imported rospy action lib and tutorial 8.mg pizza order underscore action and pizza order underscore goal now the the main aim of the client is to send the goals to the server and then server will be working for our goal and then it will whenever the goal is achieved it will send a result to us so i have made a pizza customer class printed initialize class then goal is result client is equal to action lib dot simple action client the name of our action which is pizza underscore ready then pizza order underscore action now client dot wait for server will wait for the server goal is equal to pizza underscore order goal and then goal dot number of pizza underscore order is equal to 8 i am passing there are 8 pizza to be made so i will send the goal using send goal method i am passing the goal and feedback underscore cv is equal to self dot feedback so whenever the server will create one pizza it will make one pizza it will send a feedback to us and that feedback will be receiving it into, into this callback function and then we are going to print it here so our client will wait for the result and result is equal client dot get result whenever the result is achieved it will get the result and then it will return the result which we are printing here so i have made an object of class i have initialized the node here and then i am storing the result from pz dot goal result into result variable and then i am printing the result here so this is our all, all about our client and server code now let's save it and let's try to run it so before running the script our next thing to do is compile our workspace so this is very important step so i'll open a terminal here and then i'll go into our workspace directory which is our catkin underscore ws so i'll write a command which is catkin make i'll write a command catkin make there is an error here could not find a package configuration file provided by action lib underscore msg i got the error so i think in the cmakelist.txt file we have mentioned it actionlib underscore msg actually it is actionlib underscore msgs messages so let's now go and edit that files so here you can see it is actionlib underscore msg actually it is msgs so whenever wherever i have mentioned msg i'll do msgs so here are the three changes i'll save it and close it and in package.xml file also we have to make that changes 
so gedit underscore package.exe here also we have to mention msgs now here we have made the changes now let's see so now you can see here our workspace has been compiled let's clear it and now let's run our scripts so now here i have opened four terminal in first terminal let's run our raw score in second terminal let's initialize our or execute our server script so command for it is ros run package name which is tutorial 8 and our server dot py and in our second terminal let's run our client script now here we can see that initialize class and then we are sending we have sent the goal to our server and it is then sending feedback and then it has given the result to us which is 7 pizzas are ready means from if we count from 0 then our 8 pizzas are ready so again let's execute that script of client.py send another goal to it let's check so now you can see here again the server is making the pizza then it is sending the feedback to our client and then after all pizzas is ready it will send us the result so here is all about ROS actions so if you like the video to like share and subscribe the channel until then stay creative with me technofetch